Today I'm showing you how to securely fit a Malenko mirror onto your vehicle. G'day folks, Ben from Snowys here today down at the Brown Hill Creek Caravan Park and today I'm showing you how to securely fit a Malenko mirror onto your vehicle. Now these come in a, a few different sizes and formats. You can get large format like this one I'm holding here, which is this one really good for caravans, large view to the rear or, or for really tall caravans. Or you can also get sort of longer, thinner shape like this here, which is maybe more for a sedan or if you're just towing a smaller trailer. You can also get convex and flat glass in them. With flat probably being the more popular version simply because it doesn't distort what you're looking at in the mirror, which makes it easier to judge distance when you're backing trailers and that sort of thing. But what we're showing you today is how to make sure they stay secure on your mirror. Now the beauty of these mirrors is that they're really easy to put on and really easy to take off and they're lightweight to store. They don't cost the earth but yet they're secure and functional. Now when you buy your mirror they come in a little bag like this and I'll show you what comes inside. So inside your storage bag no matter which shape mirror you got you can see these ones are the longer uh, thinner mirrors with a, a lesser field of view but perhaps a more aerodynamic shape. You always get two heads with it you always get two arms with it and you always get four brackets with it. Now the length of these arms can vary. We just have the longer ones. I think it's 40, 41 centimeters. In Australia, you, you can get shorter ones as well. You might want to contact us if you want any of those, but it's not always available. And there's also some considerations to make with the type of vehicle you fit it on. For the most part, the clamps that are on these arms here will fit most vehicles. If you've got, um, well, there, there are extra pads available for some Kia vehicles, some um, Volkswagen vehicles, Vauxhall, and a few Land Rover and Range Rover vehicles. Um, just check our website for some details on that. They're just little rubber pads that go in here to make sure they fit securely to the shroud of your existing mirrors. Now, the first thing you need to do to assemble your mirrors is take the little screw out the back here and you need to insert the arm into this point here put the screw back in and what you end up with is the mirror attached to the arm like we've done with this one here so it's now secure. Now the first thing we're going to do is actually take the brackets right off the mirror and put the mirror aside because we're going to insert that in afterwards. We're going to put the brackets on the mirror first. Now the, the portions that you tighten on these bolts are actually numbered number one and number two indicating that you want to be doing up number one first which is the clamp that goes onto the mirror and then number two second which is the bit that holds the mirror. So we slide this over the top of our rear view mirror shroud here and push it right in so the, the shroud seats up against the backing of the bracket here. It's nice and thin on the base here so it fits in between our mirror and the shroud. Push it as far over as you can. Obviously we've got a bend here so we need to go just this side of the bend and tighten it up nice and firmly. Now this pad here sits on a little sort of ball socket so even though this angle is back, the pad actually tilts down to give good purchase against the shroud there. So we do that up nice and firmly. We don't want to break the plastic of the shroud but firm enough that it's not going to come off. And we'll do the same with the second one as far out this way as we can so we've got not, um, a good support um, as far apart as we can on the shroud for the arm of the mirror. And from this point, make sure our top brackets are loose so we just loosen them right out and we grab our mirror and we're going to slide it in place. Now in this instance, you see the mirror's got an elbow, I'm going to install it so that it kind of drops down and it leaves it roughly level with the existing mirror here. If you were to put the arm in the other way, I guess you could have the mirror sitting up higher here. Um, probably personal preference, you could potentially mount it below if this mirror was facing the other way you could potentially mount it below as well but hanging it on top like this ensures that this mirror sits roughly level with the existing mirror on your vehicle. We now slide these in place now the reason we do this second is so that we make sure that we're not affecting how these clamps sit on here because this is the most important attachment point. So that's now sliding loosely in there. We can adjust that in or out as far as we want. We can see we can go right out to the end and it comes a long way out from the vehicle and we can now tighten these nuts up here. So that's attached to secure. The reason we put the mirror in second is to make sure these clamps are nice and secure on the shroud here. The mirror is now in place and it's pretty secure. If we fold this in, you can see depending on how this mirror is adjusted as to whether it would hit the glass, where that is right now is clear of the glass. If I needed to say angle this in a little more, it's probably just gonna hit the glass. It will as I fold it, but it's pretty close. But I don't think I'd actually need it that far. If I leave that roughly level with where the glass is there, that pretty much 
just clears the glass. And we've had a number of people ask um, what these are like in the instance of say a B double or, or like any large truck coming past and the wind actually blowing this mirror inwards. Now I guess there's always a chance of that happening because you've got this extra wind force here. The further out it is, the more likely it is this mirror is going to fold. Probably really is dependent on how secure the actual mounting point is on your vehicle here as to whether that's going to happen. But I would say it is a possibility, but these are a, a really affordable yet secure option um, outside of uh, some of the mirrors that you've got. You actually need to completely replace this and you end up with a large mirror on the side. Now you can easily remove these by simply undoing the number one nuts here and the whole thing with the brackets and head installed this all fits both uh, the pair of mirrors, you, you, these come as a pair, both fit back inside the storage bag. All we recommend that you do when you put them back on, follow the same process with removing these brackets from the mirror, putting them on first, and then inserting the mirror in. And that's gonna ensure your mirror is still on the side of your car at the end of your trip. Now you can grab these online at snowies.com.au at our lowest prices every day. If you've got any questions, let us know down in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel. We'll send you all of our latest and greatest information. We'll check out some of our other videos like this one down here.